Hi, I'm Alice. Comics, specifically manga, have always been an important part of my life. Back when I was little, my mother told me that I should read them in order to practice my Japanese. So, as the rebellious, hateful child I was, I absolutely refused to, declared that I hated manga, and swore to never read it. My mother still had hope, though. So she kept all of the shoujo manga, in the hopes that I would someday read it, and all of the shonen manga she gave away to all of her friends' sons. <sighs> Cut to, like, a number of years later, here I am, a shonen manga addict, mourning all of the manga that I wouldn't have had to buy all over again if I had just liked it from the beginning. There's no real point to this story other than to introduce the fact that I have a manga addiction and that I want to be a manga artist when I grow up. So, when I heard about what the Explorations Project was, I thought it would be a good opportunity to learn and practice. If I'm going to connect it to the 21st century skills, I'd say the two that relate the most are technological literacy and high productivity. With this project, I wanted to learn better how to draw fight scenes in action, as well as be more productive with my drawings, since I draw things very, very, very slowly. So, I set out to make a comic with a fight scene. At first, I decided to try and take notes on how to make a fight scene um, with this video, scrapped that idea, and just winged it. Yay. That was, that was just a very smart idea, yes. I've read a lot of shonen manga, and since this was meant to just be like an introduction to fight scenes rather than something super full-fledged and professional, I thought that winging it would be just fine, at least for the first try. For future projects, I will use better references, and I plan to do more research, but like for this project, I also just had absolutely no time, so... Moving on. Character designs. I decided I would use two characters from a story that had been swimming around in my head lately. I didn't actually have designs for them yet, though, so that was the second thing I did after the video thing. Um, these are the reference sheets that I made. Yep, this is them. Okay. So then I set out to make the comic. The first thing to do when making comics is to make a name or a rough draft. Uh, rough draft can, in English, I suppose, refers to like anything because you can have a rough draft of anything, but in Japanese, name refers specifically to comics. So that's why I will use the word name because I like that word better. So I started to make the name. And then I got COVID. And then suddenly I had absolutely no time, and all I could really do for this project was finish the name. So that's what I did. Yay! I started drawing or like finishing and cleaning the first page, but I really didn't have enough time to finish. So this is all I have. I'm so sorry. It's just so sad, but this is all I've got. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that I wasn't able to finish it since this means that I haven't really done anything I haven't done before. Um, I've made name before, but I've never really been able to get past that step. Um, but I do hope to be able to finish over the summer. <laughs> Thank you for listening and watching.